Uh, Goff, the youngest woman to reach the Aussie Open quarterfinal since Aga Radvanska in 2008, joins Tracy Austin and Chris Everett as the third American teenager to win more than 10 straight matches at majors, and she is perfect in the new year. Said she finished quickly so she could go see the movie. John talked about that. Hasn't dropped a set yet. Hasn't lost more than two games in her last five sets, Mark, uh, Lindsay. What, what stood out to you? I think just the way she's handling all of this. She's an overwhelming favor to get through to the semis, and nothing seems like to be weighing on her shoulders at all. It's one thing to say, okay, I've won one major. I don't feel any pressure. But the reality is you do. I mean, she has greatness on her mind. She wants to keep adding to that total. So anytime you get to a major... It is very high pressure packed. And for her, it doesn't seem like it at all. And she has a great understanding now of everything about her game. Mm. Of, okay, I'm going to use my foot speed. I'm the fastest one out here. I'm going to get a lot of balls back in. Okay, I've got a little bit more time in this matchup. I'm going to try and be more offensive. Each day, she seems to be kind of coming at matches differently from a strategic point. That is a very good sign for a 19-year-old. And she's not in doubles here. Let's not forget her and Pagula, they had to withdraw yeah. in the first round because yep. Jess was not feeling well. So you just feel like she is getting rested. She's, like, doing what she needs to do. And every time she steps on the match court right now, she's ready. It's a really amazing flip from the summer when she walked off a first-round loss at Wimbledon, wasn't sure what she was going to do. To look fast forward six or seven months later, she's like a superstar expecting to win. Yeah, expecting to win. I think that's a great point, Lindsay. And Martina, what do you make of the fact that it's only singles right now for Coco Golf? That's what she's dialed into. Yeah, it might be a blessing in disguise that she can really concentrate on that. I still hope that she will keep playing doubles because she's so much fun to watch. And I think it makes her a better tennis player. But now this is what all she has to do is just get ready for a match every other every other day. And, you know, she knows she's going to play Sabalenka in the semis because you know how the halves work out. But I really like how she's just taking it one match at a time. It's an old cliche, but it's the only way you can get there. And so I know she's not looking ahead because you can see it the way she's acting on the court, the way she's playing. When she's focused, uh, she's just thinking about the next point, nothing else. And that's just uh, massive for somebody that young. I know I certainly wasn't that uh, mature at 19. So kudos to her and, and her team. I mean, they, she's a good listener, but still to be able to do it with your head and control it that well, amazing. I'm really struck that we, we talk about sort of processes of a career and phases and obviously winning a major big breakthrough. You know what else is a breakthrough, though? Getting through the matches you ought to win without any drama, without any cracks in the facade. And she's just sort of beating the players she should. She's expended very little emotional energy. Remember, she comes to the U.S. Open. There's all this hype. She plays that first night match. There's celebrities in the crowd. I think Michelle Obama's there. There's controversy with the opponent. There has been none of that here. It has been such smooth sailing. The draw, again, has been a friend of hers. But you know what? She's taking care of it. She's barely losing games and sets. And I'm thinking that things are lining up nicely, but there's no emotional energy expended. I think that'll serve her well in week two. Mm -hmm.